Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and solve it on your own first. Then press play to check your work. Cool, fourth grade, welcome back. Let's go ahead and go over this problem. So it says to match the expression with its correct quotient. So the quotient is the answer when we're using division. Okay, and those quotients can be found down here and we're matching it with the expression. You can see that we don't have an equal sign, we just have an expression. For instance, 672 divided by seven. Those are all expressions. I am gonna go ahead and go through these kind of quickly because the purpose of these videos is not to teach you how to divide, but to show you how to use division in this test taking environment. If you do need more help with division, I definitely encourage you to check out Taking on the Best, where I break down the steps for division. For this one, so we've got 672 divided by seven. I like using the partial quotients method. So I'm going to start with that one. So it's like this, I'm bringing the line down. Here's a way that I do it. I say, can seven go into six? No, but I could have it go into 67. It goes like seven, 14, 20, 128, 35, 42, 49. 56, 63, and 70 is too much, so nine times. Seven times nine is 63. We have got a space there, so I'm gonna plug in a zero and a space there, plugging in a zero. So seven times 90 is 630, and that's an awfully big chunk to take out. Subtract that and we get 42, and I know that seven times six is 42. So here we have our partial quotients of 90 and six. So when we add those together, 90 plus six is 96. So we'll go ahead and mark that answer choice right there. All right, for the next one, 896 divided by four, I'll go ahead and use the area model for this one. It's similar to partial quotients. Kind of starts like the area model. It's very similar, or start, sorry, like the partial quotients model. It's very similar. It just in a different kind of um, visual. So four goes into eight two times because it's 800, that would be 200. So 200 times four is 800. That's a big chunk to remove, leaving us with 96. And we can still take out another chunk of fours, okay? I know four can go into nine, four, eight, at least two times. So four times two is eight, four times 20 gives us 80, and that's a big chunk to take out. Subtract and we get 16. Sorry, I forgot to show that I'm bringing this up, bringing my what's remaining up there. Now four goes into 16 four times, which is 16, subtract and we get zero which is awesome. Some, we don't always get zero. Sometimes we have something left over that's called a remainder. And what we're going to do is add these up here. So we have 200 plus 20 plus four, which equals 224, which if we're going over would be this column right there. Okay, and for the last one, I have 795 divided by five. For this one, I'll go ahead and use long division. Okay, so you can see, you can use a bunch of different strategies. Oops, I'm gonna need to leave myself some room for this. And zoom in. So we have our divisor outside. We have 795 inside. So five goes into seven one time. 
which is 5, subtract and we get 2, bring down the 9. 5 goes into 29, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so 5 times, which is 25, subtract and we get 4, bring down the 5. 5 goes into 45, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 9 times, which would be 45, subtract, and we get a 0. So our quotient is 159, which is that middle one. Let's say that I worked these out and I got to a quotient that didn't match the answers. Well, that means that I must have done something wrong, and that's okay. It just means that it's time to go back and check your work. You can also use multiplication to check when you're dividing two. I know that I did a couple different strategies. We used partial quotients, we used area models in this one, and long division. I encourage you to figure out and practice whichever one works best for you, and then roll with that. If you Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the principle in all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy, so why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate, you take care of it, and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again, and I cannot wait to see you inside the free course!